Bane character in the comic book, he is the master villain that is responsible for breaking Bruce Wayne's back or breaking Batman's back, crippling Bruce Wayne for life, which was a big change in the comic book. Like, wow, it's a crippled superhero. Is Batman going to fight crime if he's got a broken back? My guy has created Bane. I had a little bit to do with it, mostly as a guy who was in the room with him. But my, uh, my writers and my other editors created Bane as a guy who was very smart. He was raised in a prison, so he was just as disadvantaged as is possible to be. Educated himself, figured out a way to break out. And we played him as, like, having a huge native intelligence. He was more than muscle. I mean, he was Batman's equal. Bane came along at a time when I think the comic book uh, creators were looking at a way to throw newer and bigger and more challenging adversaries at Batman. We have seen the uh, criminal masterminds who match Batman with a, a combination of physical might and, and cleverness. I think they wanted to go the other way with Bane and do somebody who was just much more of a, a physical powerhouse that Batman could not overcome. <laughs> Bane was one of the characters that my seven-year-old godson taught me about, probably when he was about five. And um, Bane is made out of steroids and venom. And he is, um, we use him in this film as Uma's pit bull. I mean, she just can't kiss everyone to death in Gotham City. You know, she'd be, it's a lot of people to kiss. And so sometimes she just needs someone to break down a wall. So he's a, he's a wonderful addition.